Hi there, this is Jels. In this video, I just want to create a demonstration on how to automatically create a new opportunity for the coming year using the current opportunity details. What we want to do is to automatically create a new opportunity for this account for the next year so that we won't miss any opportunity for the existing account that we have. So what, what what's going to happen is when we have this closed one and we have this seminar date which is could be expiry date we will set this that this is expired on 2021 and we want to create a automatically a, a new opportunity for 2022 but the stage is going to be a offer so if we click that closed one you will see that an opportunity has been automatically created so let's jump in on how to create this on Salesforce Flow. So let's go on the settings of um, Salesforce. If you go to settings here, setup, and here you can type in Flow, and this is where you can create the new flow that would do that. And what we're going to choose from is the record trigger because we are going to use the uh, the field, the record for close one of the opportunity. So next, free form. And then the object would be opportunity. And then the requirements. Okay, just before that, it will be configured. The trigger it will be a record that is created or updated. So it will meet the uh, requirements, which is the stage name that is close one. So, and um, another important thing is when we run the flow. So we want to run this, like we want to create this opportunity just once. So only when the record is updated and meet the condition that is close one. And then action, done. And so uh, we want to schedule the path because uh, we wanted to run it nine months after the seminar. So, we could um, make it um, path label will be nine months after the seminar date or the expiry date if you are using like a license. So we're going to select the time source, which is the seminar date, and we're going to offset it with days because we only have days and hours, there's no months. So we can do days after. So we just need to compute like nine times three equals to 70. So 270 days after the seminar date, this current seminar date. So that's done. And then uh, we just need to create because that's the action that we wanted. So creating new op for next year. Okay. And one record, but it's going to be separate resources because it's a new one. So opportunity, and these are the fields that we want. Now, just to make sure that you are not confused or you don't get wrong, I want you to up, open one of your like opportunity, like say with this one, we're going to off to open this opportunity that we have. So what we want to do is to make sure that we have all of the asterisk point in we can we can do the other ones later on but just to check just to um just to make sure that the connection is working we are we were just going to start off by this um mandatory fields so let's go back here so the first one is the opportunity name so we can put up name or name name is here and we can put the record, the opportunity name, which is the same one. Uh, but if it's going, uh, what would happen is if we're going, just going to copy the opportunities, and so it's going to create a new opportunity that's the name is, is the same. So we don't want that. What we want is actually the, the, the name of the opportunity next year. So say this is 2021. For the next year, we want it to be 2022, right? 
So we're going to use, instead of the value, we're going to create a new resources that would be the formula. So with this one, this is the new op name. Okay, and the text would be, um, let's go with the name or with the account name. Account name. Yeah. So this account name would be this one. So we're going to add in now the, the date. So we want it to be the year. So you can use um, like the text, even Google um, advanced formulas, you know, Salesforce. But for now, so that uh, you know how to do it. So it's going to pull in the year. And in between those parentheses, we're going to add in the record. And we're going to add in the year of the um, uh, seminar date. This is the seminar date. That's it. Now, um, this seminar date, it's going to say that, um, so the current seminar date is 2021, right? So what we wanted is for next year. So we're going to add in 365 so that it's the seminar date for next year. So it will pull in the year for next year. But because of this is a date, we want to convert it as text. So we're going to put in text and then outside this parentheses, we're going to add in a space so that there's a space here. That's, that's the new formula. Okay, so done. And that's for the name. Next is for the account name. So in account ID means the um, record account ID and just pull in the ID and make sure that we are using the account ID here. And now we're going to add in the contact person. Contact person, we're going to put the um, record contact person here, and it's the ID of the contact, this one, contact ID. And next is the stage, okay, stage, going to record, and um, stage name would be, uh, well, we don't want the, the record to be um, the same stage. So we want it to be, at, at the moment, these are the existing pick list. So details are changed, blah, 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 blah. But what we wanted is actually a new one. So um, just for now, I'm just going to delete that and done and save it for now. So new auto creating new op for next year. And save. Now, of course, we have this, um, we have this um, errors, but I'm doing this because I need to create a new um, option for the stages. So we are on the opportunity. Um, so if you are on settings, just go to object manager and look for the object of opportunity, which is down here. Then we go to field options, and this is where we can change the stage. Let's look for the stage here. Okay. And we're going to add in a new stage, which is, uh, let's see if there's a, like a book. Okay, now, so we can add a new one. That would say um, auto the book offer. And we open this The probability we need to make it 50%. Okay. Now that we have this offer here, 
we're going to go back to the flow. We're going to just refresh to make sure that we are adding it. Okay, and so going back to this page, we're going to add in um, in other book offer. So and then save, and then the other one would be close date. So the close date would be um, new resource, this formula, new, new close date. So we're just going to select date, and we're going to select close date record close date plus 365. And then what else do we have in that and that? Okay. So we can do all the rest later on. We just need those that are important to test. So that's done. And we're going to connect this. And when we connect, there is a one immediately what we want it to just in nine months after. So it okay let's see if it's going to work okay we have a one one it's just that so that's fine we can still work on that so we're going to make this activate okay now we are going to test the one that we were working on earlier so uh we're just going to refresh this so since the since the trigger is actually the stage, we're just going to make this closed one and say it should create a new there it is. So this thing opportunity that was uh, in the stage was auto book. So we're going to have that so the account name contact person closely so so that's it so once um you're you know that that worked um you can now add more information here like um adding all the rest of the fields to the new created opportunity mm. so i hope it helps in the next video i'm going to show you how to create now that the opportunity has been has been created we want to create some email sequence so that we can follow up and also create a new task, follow up the call. So yeah, if you need help with your sales force, please contact me using my email. You can find it on my description below this video, or you can just like comment in this video. So, and also subscribe and like this video. So thank you so much for your time and have a nice day. Bye.